Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to talk about modules. So we talked up in the last video that Angular Dart is a modular framework, and those that modular framework is made of modules, right? Those are the custom elements that we're talking about. So let's talk about that and describe like the structure of it, the syntax, um, and we'll keep going from there. But I wanted to talk a little bit about something called the model view controller philosophy. Um, it's basically Angular Dart has, at least I read some places that it has this type of structure architecture. So what the model view controller means is that it's a separation of these sections themselves. So the model represents the business logic or what do you do with data? So do you add the data together? Do you save it? What do you do with it? The view is what you see, right? It's the HTML or the DOM, where these elements are on the screen. And the controller basically is the router, like we talked about with server-side programming, where the interactions go. So for example, if I have a image right here and I click on it, when I click on it, it pops up in it, uh, uh, pops up a whatever, a hi, how are you type of um, alert. The view would be the icon or the image, right? The controller would be when I click it, it sends information and the business logic would basically be the data that says, hi, how are you? Or whatever the information is in the um, uh, uh, alert pop-up, right? So that's maybe not a, the best example of the world um, in the world, but at the same time, the what we're trying to do is separate the model from the view from the controller. And so the controller basically sends information from the view to the model itself. And that's when we separate these things, make them very nice and discreet, it's easier to see um, and easier to follow. We talked about this a little bit in the last video when you talk about the, we have HTML, then we have the programming language and they're on separate pages and to separate them completely. So if there's a problem just with the programming logic, you look under main.dart. If there's a problem just with rendering, just in the screen, when you first load the page up, maybe there's a problem with the index.html. Okay, so and, and if there's a styling problem, you look at the CSS. So that's the general concept of the MVC. I'm not convinced that this is truly an MVC type of architecture, um, because I don't see in Angular Dart that these are distinctly separate in any particular sense. So, but I just want to throw this out. If you read about it, it, it people will say that it is MVC. That the term is not written in stone. It's not. It is either this or it's not. No, it's kind of a vague term. That it's just the general concept, and that's why I want to introduce them. Okay. Now, when we talk about the modules themselves, this is main.dart. And it references, it points to app component.dart. So let's just look at this very straightforward. Bootstrap. Bootstrap, the, the, the idea of bootstrap or just bootstrap in general means setting something up so it'll run by itself. So that's the concept of the bootstrap. So I don't have to take 15 steps. I just activate it and then it runs by itself. App component is by convention, just by standard, by what we just say, this is the way it's going to be. Um, th this is the name of the what we call root module. The root module is basically the beginning of it all. So to bootstrap the root module, it starts it from the very top. Um, the root module basically is the module that sets in motion all the other modules underneath it. So if we think about, remember we had a um, uh, bunch of custom elements or other types of modules themselves, it would be activated through the app component, not through may not dart through the app component. All right. So where's app component? Let's look under the lib section and app component would be right here. Now there are several components um, to the app component right here. Okay. So the, you notice that this is an annotation. And I think these are called also decorators. So what we have in the module is the decorator. We have some parameters, right? There's uh, parentheses right there. And then there's a following class. This entire thing is the module itself. So almost all, 
I don't think all, but almost all of the modules will have this structure. What you have inside of here is a little bit different, but, but for the most part, they'll have this same basic structure. Um, we'll go over all of those in the future videos, but let's just talk about one at a time. Selector. So notice selector colon and then in parentheses, same thing with all these others colon and it's followed by a comma. The very last one, that doesn't always have to have a comma. It still runs correctly, I believe. Let's give this a try. All the other ones do need a comma. And what the selector actually does is that gives the name of the element. Let's pull this up here real quick. Yeah, nothing actually breaks inside of here. So that last comma is not really necessary. Um, I think it, it's, it's optional. So the, it gives you the name of the element. So remember, if we go back to your HTML, it'll say my app. That's the name of the custom element. And that would be this right here. So whatever you choose to be your custom element, you could do whatever you want to do, but give it a name. I think by convention, you're going to have a dash inside of there, something dash something in order to make it clear that this is actually a custom element. So I think that's it's not something essential. It'll still work without it, but that's the preference. Okay. Um, <clears throat> And let's go over the rest of these in a little bit. Just And again, the class that follows immediately after the decorator, after here, it's going to be the information here is going to access the information here, not elsewhere. So if you have a class somewhere else, this information will not access other classes, only the one that follows it immediately afterwards. Okay, so let's keep going forward. Let's talk about a little bit more of this information and go from there. Thanks.